Hi everybody, it's Beth with West Coast Wool and this video tutorial is all about how to make the woven circle. Super easy and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to making a beautiful stitch. There are a couple of tools that I like to use when I am making a woven circle. The first are these great templates by Sue Spargo. They're called Spoke Easy. You get six of them in a pack and each one has a different number of spokes. So there's gonna be some odd and there's gonna be some even number of spokes. We're going to use the number five because when you make a woven circle, oops, I just dropped them, you need to have an odd number of spokes. The other tool I like to use is this sew line three in one marking pencil. Uh, it's very versatile and it has three different color leads that you can use to mark your wool. And the reason I like this, this point here is very narrow and it, you need it to uh, be able to fit through the template. So I do recommend this pin, it's very handy. So what we're gonna do, we're going to first make a woven circle and we're gonna mark the circle where we want the spokes to be. So I'm gonna use the darker color just for demonstration purposes so you can kind of see. So I'm gonna line up my template on top of my wool circle and I've centered it and I have it kind of on a flat surface. It's not, it doesn't work that great to mark and hold it in your hand. So try to mark on a flat surface. And what you're going to do is you mark you're going to just make little twizzle, I call them twizzles. Um, you can just make small marks. You don't wanna drag your pen uh, across the wool because you could break the lead. And I don't like to mark a lot of stuff unless I really have to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark the center here. And then I'm going to just go out and I'm gonna go to the first mark on the template and I'm gonna go all the way around and I'm going to mark each one of these. There we go. To make this circle today, I am using a chenille number 18 needle. I'm also using this beautiful Eleganza Pearl Cotton number five. I chose a bigger size so you can kind of see the stitches easier. And this is Easy M14 uh, Lettuce Wrap. It's one of my favorite. It comes in three different sizes, the eight, the five, and the three. Before I get started stitching, I just wanted to add that if you don't wanna mark your wool, you can also just take your template and hold it on, hold on to it just like this and you can stitch through the spokes. A lot of times uh, I might not have a, a marking, my marking pen handy, or I just don't feel like marking, and I can just stitch the spokes right through. And so that is an option, but today we just marked it so you could see where I'm going to stitch. To start, I'm gonna come up in my from my background through the center, and I'm going to go down through each one of these marks to make a spoke. And your thread should be a little bit on the longer side because you're gonna be weaving. So I'm gonna keep going around. Okay, so I've got my spokes. The next step is to come up close to the center next to one of the spokes, and we're gonna start weaving. And all we're doing is uh, over, under, over, under. So I've, I've come up uh, on the other side of this spoke. I'm gonna go under, and I'm gonna start by going around. And usually after the first round, I kind of like to just push the stitches to the center. Just 
just like that. So you notice uh, I'm using the back of my needle. You can change to a tapestry needle, but I find that even when I change to a tapest tapestry needle, I still go and use the back of the needle. So I'm just gonna stick with this. So we're, we've gone under, we're gonna go over and under again, and I'm going to fill this in and I'll speed up the video. As I get to the end here, I am going to fill in this, the rest of the stitches until you can't see where the spokes are. And you don't need to pull very tight. I'm using kind of a light touch here. And I'm gonna keep going around until I've filled in this beautiful woven circle. Keep going here. This color thread is just it's gorgeous. I love it. It's one of my favorites. The color changes are fabulous. So now I've pretty much filled it in. Maybe I'll squeeze one more in there. Just going to go around a little bit more. And so when you're finished, you just take your thread to the back of your work. And that is a woven circle. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below and leave me a like. Um, I'd love to hear from you.